I guess the one that was most gratifying was uh, the Joy Luck Club because it had everything going against it. I mean, yes, it was a best-selling book, but it was an all-Asian cast that had never happened. A good quarter to a third of it was going to be in Chinese, Mandarin Chinese. Um, it was a ton of flashbacks, which is a no-no in Hollywood in some people's minds. And it was a lot of disparate stories. And so it broke a lot of rules. And uh, we went and pitched it to every studio. And they're like, yeah, it's a good idea, but, you know. So, and we knew we were up against all these challenges, but fortunately it just takes one person to say yes. And that in this case was Jeffrey Katzenberg. And I do credit him for not just this, but for having the, you know, his foresight, I think, to make movies like Mulan and, and Kung Fu Panda. He seemed to understand that there was an Eastern Hemisphere and that there was a huge Asian diaspora. And um, so that was, that was a really great green light because we had gotten so much. I mean, this, this had gone on for years, by the way, rejections. And um, so that, that was sweet. Yeah.